In today's video, we're going to show three ways to expand binomials. One of them is a kind of a new way um, that I don't do very much in class, but it uses long multiplication. And uh, long multiplication resembles multiplication for any two or three digit number. And uh, notice that you put the ones under the ones, the x's under the x's, and the x squareds under the x squareds, and you just uh, add them up by column and uh, you get the resulting uh, quadratic below. Uh, now this this way of doing it is scalable to higher order polynomials as well. Like for example I can multiply um, uh, a binomial by a binomial but what about a trinomial by a trinomial? And I'll make these two slightly different uh, to show you that I can also do this uh, same technique to a uh, uh, a quadratic divided by a quadratic. So x squared plus 2x plus 3 divided by, uh, sorry, multiplied by x squared minus 2x plus 5. And uh, there's a fair bit of uh, fair bit of computation, but just make sure that the x's line up under the x's, the x squareds line up under the x squareds, and the x cubes line up under the x cubes, and everything should work out. Then it's just a matter of just adding up the columns, and also watch your minus signs. Notice the x to the fourth is just that, the 2x cubes uh, subtract out completely. So the answer to this question has no x cubed term, but uh, results in x to the fourth plus 4x squared plus 4x plus 15. Then uh, there's one that we do a lot in class, and it's the distributive property. So the distributive property really is just a way of, add, uh, of multiplying two binomials uh, as if we were using the distributive property, um, say, by multiplying 3 times x plus 5 or something like that. But this time, if we do x plus 3 times x minus 5, we multiply x times x minus 5, and we add it to 3 times x minus 5. And we just do a full expansion of that using the distributive property, which you should know how to do. And we then remember to add the negative 5x to the positive 3x, and you get x squared minus 2x minus 15. Uh, after you simplify, uh, which is the same answer we got the last time when we used long multiplication. Then there's the FOIL method. Now the FOIL method of course is the famous method that stands for first, outer, inner, and last. F for first, O for outer, I for inner, and L for last. And they refer to the terms in a binomial expansion. And we'll use the FOIL method once again for um, the binomials which we were examining earlier. X minus 5 times X plus 3. And um, notice I can multiply for my first times my first is X times X. And then I do X times positive 3 for my outer, and for my inner is the negative 5 times the x, so that's minus 5x, and last times last, negative 5 times 3, which is negative 15.
and now we gather our like terms as before the x squared uh, is just x squared but with the 3x and the negative 5x we have to add them to get negative 2x and finally we just copy down the minus 15 and this is uh, one more way of expanding binomials so in in review uh, there are three ways to expand binomials one is by long multiplication two is by the distributive property and three is by the foil method